Now uh, we'll do a little roundup um, of our building. So um, I think I'm more or less finished with the structure here. So I'm going to point out a few little extra bits and pieces that I did. Uh, you can see I've, I've introduced some blue glass here uh, and just to give the building a little bit of a pop. Uh, so let me show you what this is. Uh, if you tab, tab, okay. So that is one of my uh, Shuko triple glaze panels. And um, if I go into the other type, um, you can see that I've, I've got a glass panel two material on it here. So that's how I changed the color. So there's your standard glass. Here's a glass panel one, which is a little uh, darker. And here's a glass panel two, which is uh, quite blue there. And the transparency is up to about 50% here. Okay, so um, if you wanted to have a little bit of variety in your glazing here, you can take the original glass there, uh, right click and uh, duplicate with assets and materials and uh, rename it. And then you can change the uh, the surface pattern and the transparency. And that's what will give you uh, that kind of uh, coloring there as well. Okay. So um, I still have a few bits and pieces to tidy up here. You can see that there's a little bit of a gap here and uh, I need to find out why that one is there and this one is here. And uh, uh, I need just to tab. So I just need to pick that and find out what's going on there. Um, ooh, okay, so let's try that one. Now, there you go. Wouldn't you know it? Um, so if I tab, tab, escape, escape. So these are all little things that you need to go back over. Let's just do select all instances visible in the view. Okay, that's all those things down there, and I'll swap them out for this one here. And that will put that back in place. Okay, so there's little things like that need to be oh, picked up. And of course, it's gone and done something to my glazing here. Isn't that the way? Well, this actually gives me a great opportunity to show you how you can change your glaze panels here. So um, let's uh, tab, tab, right. And... Um, so it's gone back to glass and uh, I want it to be glass two, okay? And okay. Now, while it's still picked, all right. Oh, it's, it's changed them all there. Okay, they're all gone back. All right, that's great. Um, now you can see that I finished off my roof on the, um, on the stair. Uh, roof accessibility and the plant room over here. And I've got my, um, so I showed you a couple of methods of um, putting on your um, parapet uh, precast there. Not, not hugely satisfied with that, I'm gonna be honest with you, um, because of the reasons that it's not reporting back its volume. But uh, I was doing some reading up on this and that's typical that um, in place masses uh, don't seem to report back uh, uh, volume. And as I said, there might be a methodology by which we could run a, a, a Dynamo script that would do that job for us. Now, perhaps the right way to do that, uh, but again, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit, uh, and I, I'm not convinced by it, you know, uh, is the fact that <clears throat> um, I, I am getting a, uh, an area, square meter area there. I'm not getting a volume on those. Now, interesting enough is that, uh, and I'll be showing you this, I have done a curtain uh, wall panel material takeoff. And um, so I've got family and type here. I've got my panel sizes and you can see the volumes are coming up. Material area is 34 square meters and the, the volume's coming down like 1.7 of a cubic meter. That's just not correct. Uh, so, I'll have to do a little bit more research on that. Um, and uh, I think uh, Piers is looking for a material uh, panel, uh, a curtain wall panel takeoff. So I'll be showing you some techniques. That type mark is a very handy one there. So I'll come back to that in, in, in another video. But um, yeah, so that's basically my structure kind of finished there. You can see that um, I decided to carry the curtain wall glazing the whole way around. And what I've done here is I put in solid panels um around the back of the retail area there now there might be a door out here or something like that and that's fine there's no problem you can 
stick a door in there using the uh, same technique uh, that we did for, for this one here. So just make sure that the family is loaded in, single door family is, is loaded in, and you can swap that out uh, for there. Um, let's see if we can do that here. Here, let's do it in the back of the, the building. So uh, let's pick this one panel and let's see what we've got here. I've only got the double doors here at the moment, I think. Um, but uh, I did show you how to get single doors as well uh, in there. So again, it's just a question of popping it out uh, and swapping it for, for that one there. Easy enough to do. Um, okay, so uh, with my structure kind of more or less complete at this point, uh, the next thing <coughs> I want to do is start to organize, <coughs> organize our sheets. Um, so I'm going to do another video now, and I'm going to start laying out the sheets according to the brief uh, that Pierce has up on uh, Brightspace.